Today we have the brand new Monster Ultra Strawberry Dreams. YouTube, welcome to the channel. My name's Jason. This is Gideon here once again. Today we got our hands on the absolute brand new Monster Ultra Strawberry Dreams. So I was at Walmart today, this morning, saw this out on the shelves, had to pick it up, obviously. It's so new that when I went to check out at Walmart, it wasn't even in the system yet. They were having a hard time. She was trying to tell me, well, maybe you're gonna have to come back. We can't ring this up right now. I was like, no, I need this. Ring it up as a different flavor, which she finally agreed to do since they didn't even have this in the system yet. Super excited. I do like Monster Energy Ultras. That's If I drink Monster Energy, that's what I drink is just the Ultras because I don't want the sugar. Uh, five calories per serving. These are This is a six pack of the 12 ounce cans. And like I said, they rang it up as a different flavor, but I assume the price is the same. It was like 10 something that they've charged me for this. Uh, 200 milligrams of sodium, four, carbo, four grams of carbohydrates, zero sugar. All right, Strawberry Dreams. So new, there's not even a lot online about this, what this flavor is supposed to taste like. I'm hoping maybe like if you've ever had Fago Red Pop, that's a strawberry flavored drink. So I'm hoping something along like that because I love Fago Red Pop. So that would be awesome if this tastes like that. Um, the Rise Energy, the Fruit Punch one, that one kind of reminded me of Red Pop. So I'll compare the two. Even though it's a Fruit Punch, it didn't really taste much like Fruit Punch. To me, it tasted more like Red Pop. So I'll compare those two. So let's go get one. I have one chilling in the fridge right now. So let's go grab it and try this out. All right, so here is the Monster Energy Strawberry Dreams. I think kind of along the same colors as Monster Rosa, except I don't think Rosa doesn't have the red top, which I love. And has like a red stroke around the M there. So I, but I think the pink is the same or pretty darn close. I do like this can. Obviously you can tell I like red. I like black and red, but this is, this is a pretty sweet looking can. Give you a close up of those designs on it, which I haven't even really looked at. Uh, I see some strawberries, like a skeleton, uh, clouds. Strawberry with an eye on it. So uh, I don't, like I said, I don't know much about the design or anything on this. Strawberry Dreams. I guess maybe that's this. I guess if you have Strawberry Dreams, you would be dreaming about that kind of stuff. Let's just get in and try this flavor out. Got a cup here to pour it in. See if this is a color to it. Pale pinkish. I mean, basically, the color of the can. I mean, pretty darn close. Smell, I'm not getting much. Not a whole lot from the smell. First sip, not Fago Red Pop. This is really strawberry tasting, like, like Fago Red Pop, you, you have that artificial strawberry taste. This is almost, dare I say, strawberry juice flavored? Like that aftertaste is like, I just ate strawberries. It doesn't taste to me like artificial strawberry candy, with this Jolly Ranchers, it's not along that line at all. It's not a, doesn't taste like a strawberry Jolly Rancher to me at all. Try it in the glass, see if it's any different. Unusual, not in a bad way, because I think I was figuring more of a strawberry candy type taste. I'm trying to think of some other drink out there that this reminds me of. Like I said, I have the Rise Fruit Punch, and I believe when I did the review of this, I thought this tasted like Red Pop. And it does. Like this is more along the lines of Red Pop. Even though this says Fruit Punch, to me it has more of a strawberry taste to it. Even though it doesn't even show strawberries in it, but that's what it tastes like. Not even similar. This is, this is good.
the only way I can describe it is it's just strawberries. Like you're eating actual strawberries with a little bit of a, that bite. Obviously that carbonation bite that you get from carbonated drinks, you get that. So it's like strawberries with a little bit of bite in it. This is really good. If you are a strawberry fan, highly recommend picking one of these up and trying it out. Uh, like I said, this is the 12 ounce can. Usually Monsters, if you buy the singles, are what, like the 16 ounce cans? So this has 110 milligrams of caffeine for the 12 ounce can. It's good. It's not a super over the top strawberry taste in your face. It's kind of a light flavor, a light strawberry taste to it, but it's decent. Um, like I said, it's kind of the color of the can of the Rosa. I don't like the Rosa. That flavor, just almost too floral tasting. This is just, again, it's, if you know anything more about, like, is it just like strawberry drinks? Is it supposed to be strawberry and something else, a combination? What gives it, is, did they just call it dreams for whatever reason? But does it supposed to have something else in it? I suppose I should read the can. Some people swear that strawberries are aphrodisiacs. They say if you share a double strawberry with someone, double strawberry? Then they'll catch feelings for you. All we know is that flavor of the heart-shaped fruit is perfect for the new Zero Sugar Ultra. Wonderful sweet while slightly tart, this easily easy drinking ultra tastes like a dream. Passionate craft, passionately crafted with the Monster Energy blend you crave. Take one sip and you'll be crazy for the ultra strawberry dreams. Okay, so it's just supposed to be strawberry. Like I said, I really like this. This is, I typically drink just the plain white one. I like the red, the ultra red, which I think is fruit punch. Um, the blue one's not bad. The purple. This, this is up there. This may be, maybe my new favorite. Hey, Gideon, what's your thoughts on the new strawberry monster? Strawberry drinks, okay. He's backing away. He's not a fruit lover. He's not a fan of strawberries, apparently. It's a good one, highly recommended. If you find this in the stores, pick it up. Leave it in the comments below. Let me know when you try it, what do you think of it? Are you excited for this one? This is a good one. This is a definite good one. Like I said, maybe my top Monster Ultra right now. I can't stop drinking it. Really good one. If I had to give it a score out of 10, I'm going to bet 8.5. Like I said, it's really good. Maybe I wish the strawberry taste was a little stronger. It wasn't as light as it is. But then I think maybe if it went a little stronger, then you would be going into that red pop range. So they had to find this, the, the, the sweet spot of not going too hard on it. He's bringing his toys in here to play. Um, not going too hard on it to where it, it pushes it into almost the candy flavor. Like I said, it's it's a good one. I'm can's gone. I finished it. It is delicious. So like I said, 8.5. I'm gonna give this one really good one. Probably one of my top monster cultures right now. If you've enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed to the channel. For Gideon, who's playing with his little toy. I'm Jason. We'll see you next time.